it has been a long time since I revisited Pitch Black. It's a movie that I used to watch a hell of a lot in the early 2000s. I used to get a kick out of it. It ticked a lot of the boxes of things that I really liked. Group of people in a situation and a location being picked off one by one. And I really liked what David Toohey does here by taking this group of characters who are all at odds, stranding them on a planet as it happens here. Uh, we have various people, we've got religious people, we've got the pilots of the ship, we have what seems to be a kind of bounty hunter, police officer who is taking uh, Riddick, which is a criminal, um, to back to jail. Lots of kind of mix and match of people together here stranded on this kind of desert planet. When they have a, a little bit of exploration, they discover that there is lots of skeletons of animals that have died out. There was a settlement of some point, but there is no settlers. Um, and there's a little sense of foreboding as we realise that this is a real barren planet and they're struggling for water uh, and a form of getting safety, uh, getting off this planet and trying to survive. Along the way, they discover that every 22 years there seems to be an eclipse for a period of time. And wouldn't you know it, there happens to be a strange creature or multiple of these creatures in this planet that only come out when it's dark and it's just about to have an eclipse. It's a simple setup, but it's really well done. Uh, and I, I, I was warned about the special effects going back into this one. It didn't hold up. I kind of liked a lot of the special effects. That, they're lo-fi, they're not fancy, they're not crisp and clean, they feel a little bit rugged, they feel um, natural for it. I love the Riddick vision, that kind of purple tint that we get within the movie. We have an anti-hero in the form of Riddick, a character that was rather strong in this movie that spawned several sequels after it. None was as good as Pitch Black. And I think the secret to that is we have a whole cast of characters. We have Three characters that could possibly be the lead in any other movie, depending on the, the direction they wanted to take on it. And even Riddick isn't the main character here. He is an important role in this one, but he's not the driving force behind it. We get Radha Mitchell as Caroline Fry, the person who um, is kind of piloting this mission. She's ended up in charge. She's struggling to keep everything together. Got a little bit of trauma herself with the crash and what happened and is just trying to get these people to safety. Um, and you have all this kind of strange dichotomy as we move from different power factions and who's trying to take hold of the group and everybody's kind of flawed in one way or another. The creatures are actually really unique and kind of different and, and interesting to see. Um, we do get to see them more as the movie goes on. At first, it's kind of shadows, it's outlines, you just see the ferocity of them. And I, I kind of like that, you know, when it holds back the creature design to later on. I love the look of the barren planet at the start as well. It's kind of washed out with an almost sepia tone, uh, very yellow, but uh, interesting. And the idea of these suns that it has and the fact that it spends most of the time in constant daylight is an interesting idea for the film. I don't think it works fully and I can never quite forgive the movie for the final death that we see on camera. Um, I just think it's a gut punch too much for me uh, and kind of detracts ever so slightly from the movie but I understand why it's there. Uh, I just don't like it. It's my kind of preference for that movie. I think Pitch Black has some wonderful scenes. It's really interestingly shot. It's got some standout moments. And I think it's just an enjoyable science fiction thrill ride. Not a great movie, but a good solid three, three and a half kind of film. I um, thought the, the 4K looked stunning, to be fair. Uh, really interesting, especially in some of the darker shots. You really kind of see a lot more detail and things in that. And it made it quite impressive, especially... Uh, when the darkness hits in the movie, the eclipse the first time, um, and uh, they're moving through some really dark uh, scenarios. Arrow, for me, are doing some great work with their 4Ks. They're exemplary, they're wonderful transfers. Um, I like when they dip their toe into things that they haven't re released before. So Pitch Black goes along next to my uh, Tremors disc as something I really do uh, love. 
I'd love to know your thoughts on Pitch Black, the movie, what you thought of it, or the 4K, if you want to drop your comments on the picture, the sound, whatever you uh, liked most about it, in the comment box below. We'll see you next time in Man V Film.